Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. A lot of you might wonder that how does percentage help in our real life? Do we even use percentages in real life? Well, we do. Now, let us look at some examples. So let's say when you eat a pizza or when you eat a cake, you often talk about the percentage of pizza that you can eat. Now, normally, let's say that you have a pizza and you have cut it into maybe five equal slices. So how, what percentage of the pizza can you eat? Maybe you can eat three slices out of five slices or you can eat uh, one slice out of five slices or maybe you can eat two slices out of five slices or it could be any such fraction. And you can always get a corresponding percentage for this fraction. For example, you might be eating 20% of the pizza or 30% of the pizza or 50% of the pizza. So one interesting thing that you would always observe is the percentages related to proper fractions are less than 100. For example, what are proper fractions? Those fractions where numerator is less than the denominator. So these are all examples of proper fraction 3 by 5, 1 by 5, 2 by 5. So when you actually convert them into percentages, you would actually see that 2 by 5 corresponds to 40 percent, 1 by 5 corresponds to 20 percent 3 by 5 corresponds to 60 percent so you see when you convert them into percentage their percentages are less than 100 whereas percentages related to improper fractions are always more than 100 for example uh, let's say that the shopkeeper is selling a book now the selling price of the book can be more than 100 percent more than the cost price for example this this is the book which is being sold and let's say that the cost price of this book is rupees 10 that means the shopkeeper had bought this book for rupees 10 and what is the price at which he is selling the book let's say that he is selling the book at rupees 100 so these are just uh, you know kind of imaginary numbers just to explain the concept so in this case the selling price is a lot more than the cost price so if you look at the increase in this particular case the increase is almost 900 percent so that much is the increase so the increase is more than 100 percent so what is this this when you look at its fraction so how much is the change this is 90 and what was the initial price it was 10 so this much is the increase right so this 90 by 10 is what this is an improper fraction so whenever you come across improper fraction like 5 by 2 or 3 by 2 or 11 by 3 so these are all exact these the frac the percentages corresponding to these fractions these are improper fractions so the corresponding percentages will be more than 100 for example in this case 3 by 2 corresponds to 150 percent similarly in this case this 5 by 2 corresponds to 250 percent so all of these are more than 100 now we will now look at application of percentages that how this concept of percentage helps us in calculation in day-to-day -day life let us take a simple example from our uh, real life for example the teacher says that uh, if I had rupees 600 left after spending 75% of my money, how much did I have in the beginning? So let's say that you forgot that how much money did you get as part of your salary, but now you are left with 60% and all you know is that you have spent 75% of your money. So how much was the money with you in the beginning? So see in such cases, the concept of percentages will be helpful. So let's assume Assume. So you can assume that the money that you had in the beginning is X. So how much have you spent? You have spent 75% of X, 75% of what you had. That is something which you have already spent. So how much are you left with? So in this case, this was the initial money that you have. From this initial money, you have spent 75% of X. So this is, the, this is the remaining money that you should have. But according to the question, the remaining money that you have is 600. So when you look at this, this becomes 75 by 100 into X. 
this is equal to 600 so 25 threes are 25 fours are so this is x minus 3 by 4 x is equal to 600 or you can say x by 4 is equal to 600 or x is equal to 4 into 600 which is equal to 2400 so she initially had rupees 2400 so here you see we can make use of percentages in our day to day life in different types of problems and there we see that we do make use of the concepts of percentages to solve them. So let's try one more problem. If 60% people in a city like cricket, 30% like football and the remaining like other games. Then what percent of the people like other games? So, okay. So, how many like cricket? So, cricket is liked by 60% of the people. Football is liked by 30% of the people. And how many like others? That we don't know. Okay. Now, what do we mean by percentage? Percentage means out of 100. So, when I say that 60% likes cricket, that means we have assumed that, so you can assume that if the total number of people is 100, in that case, 60 likes cricket 30 likes football so how many out of 100 would like others so that's very simple so let's assume that x number of people would like others so x plus 60 plus 30 should be equal to 100 that is as per the definition of percentage now this doesn't mean that there are total 100 people in reality this just means that since 60 percent 30 percent that means this 60 and 30 numbers are out of 100 so if there are 100 people then 60 of them like cricket and 30 of them like football so in that case x will be equal to 10. So x is equal to 100 minus 90 which is equal to 10. So we can say that 10% of the people like other games. Now the second part of the question says if the total number of people are 50 lakhs. So this is the actual number of people. Find the exact number who like each type of game. So now let's talk about cricket first. Now for cricket we know that 60% people like cricket. So 60% of what? 60% of the total number of people. So total number of people is 50 lakh. So 60% of 50 lakh. So this is equal to 60 by 100 into 50 lakhs would be 5000000. 000 000 000 000 000. So this is 50 lakhs. So this will be equal to 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this will actually be 30 lakhs. So you can do this like units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs. So like that you can actually find out this is 30 lakhs. So this is 30 lakhs. So 30 lakhs people like cricket. Now what about football? So 30% of them like football. So 30% of 50 lakhs. So this is equal to 30 by 100 into 50 lakhs. So this is equal to 15 lakhs. So this is 15 lakhs. So 30 lakhs like cricket, 15 lakhs like football. So how many would like other games? So others would be liked by, there are two ways of finding it out. One option is you just subtract, you add these two, that is the total number of people who like cricket and football and then subtract it from 50 lakhs. That is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is 10% uh, of them like other games. So 10% of 50 lakhs. So this is equal to 10 by 100 into 50 lakhs. So this is equal to 5000000. Zero, 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 zero. That is 5 lakhs. So we see that 30 lakhs like cricket, 15 lakhs like football and 5 lakhs like other games. Let's try one more problem. A football team won 10 matches out of the total number of matches they played. 
if their win percentage was 40 then how many matches did they play in all so in this case we know how the exact number of matches that the team has won but we do not know the total number of matches that they have played so let us assume that they played a total of x matches now this is a beautiful way of solving problems so whenever you are given a problem where you do not know one particular quantity you can always assume that as a variable and then solve the entire problem using algebraic expression and that's how you know you can get a very uh, convenient solution now looking at the question we see that the win percentage is given as 40 that means the number if the total number of matches would have been 100 in that case the team would have won 40 matches out of 100 matches so that is what we mean by the win percentage now let us try to calculate the win percentage if the total number of matches that they played was x so as per us what would be the win percentage the number of matches that they won so number of matches won out of the total number of matches multiplied by 100 because whenever we want to find out percentage we definitely multiply by 100 so how many matches did they win they won 10 matches out of how many matches out of x matches because x is the total number of matches so this into 100 so this is 1000 divided by x percent so this is the calculated percentage as per us but according to the question what is the win percentage the win percentage is given in the question as 40 so that means this 1000 x is actually equal to 40 as per the question therefore x will be equal to 1000 divided by 40 so 4 into 25 so this would be 25 so they played total 25 matches out of which they won 10 matches Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.